Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good so far today. Our prayer request. Martha's daughter Mary has COVID and now her husband's husband Dean and son Richard have it. Pray they all get better. Karina's sister Laura is waiting for insurance to approve her therapy. She's doing what she can from home. Pray for all fear and sadness to go away. She lost her home from being in the hospital four months. Enlightened by Grace for You's family is sick. They may have COVID and uh, they've been tested. Um, I haven't heard back. I need an update to know if y'all are doing okay or if you, uh, you know, tested positive. Okay, Colleen's friend Claude passed away. Pray for the family. And Colleen's friend Diane is getting better. Uh, she's doing well. She's getting physical therapy. And her friend Joe is at home now and doing much better also. Okay. Marcia's cousin passed away from COVID. Please pray for the family. And Marcia's daughter is still recovering from COVID. Pray they get oxygen to her soon. Diane Parker found her 15 and a half year old cat passed away Saturday morning. She's very upset. Please pray she'll feel better soon. Maria V's niece Carrie had a biopsy and test done. Pray for a good outcome. Martha's son-in-law, Dean, is well from COVID. Her daughter, May, May, is recovering from it, and her son, Richard, is dealing with COVID, too. Um, my daughter, or our daughter, Jackie's back is doing better. Her elbow still hurts. Her husband, Will, has shingles and needs uh, his wisdom teeth pulled. They're having money problems, also need to refinance their house. Kim's stepdad is on peritoneal dialysis and his therapist wants him to change to the blood dialysis. Pray he decides to go that route. Joy Tucker's friends David and Lorraine need prayer because his mother passed away. Remember the family in prayer also. Jen's brother Alex went to the ER with chest pains. Pray he'll be okay. If any of y'all have updates, please let me know in the comments. Okay, our scripture today comes from James 5, 16 through 18. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. Okay, our devotion today is entitled, Praying Effectively. Toward the end of James' epistle, is the statement that should increase our confidence in God. The effective prayer of a righteous man can accomplish much. What a comfort to know that the Lord hears and responds to the petitions of the righteous. The Greek word for accomplish is the one from which we derive our English word energy. The prayers of God's people don't merely drift into space, but are avenues through which God does his amazing work on earth. However, he cannot be manipulated into unleashing his power. There are no prayer formulas or perfect words that cause him to act. What does James mean by effective prayer? 1 John 5.14 gives us a hint. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Therefore, we can define effective prayer as that which is in accordance with God's will. What is required for us to pray effectively? According to James, effective prayer requires a righteous life. If we are harboring sin, pride, and self-reliance, it's doubtful that our prayers will align with God's will. 
We can't hang on to our unrighteousness and expect to offer effective prayers because sin hinders our relationship with God. Before coming to the Lord with our petitions, we must first confess our sins and turn from them. Prayer is an amazing privilege by which God involves us as he accomplishes his will in our lives and in the world. During hardships and trouble, we come to him in weakness and helplessness, asking for his aid, strength, and guidance. Then he answers according to his good and perfect will. Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. And I will see you after a while on Morning Coffee Break. Bye-bye and God bless.